got more snacks next week. I know. A lot of you guys have more snacks next week. <laughs> well, Sanam was Catherine, you. Uh, I'm not sure if Elaine is going. There's, is there no cadets there? Okay. I think there's cadets. There is, yeah. But so she's not registered? Okay. I think there's only three people. Okay. Well, I, then in the last half hour, all three of you have came up to me. All of you are stressed out. Yeah, because I, I'm telling you, I couldn't come on Wednesday and come Tuesday. You know, I read uh, once in a book, anticipation of death is worse than death itself. Right? It's, you just... Like, so now I'm saying thing, you know, she's just so tense, can't even make a direct hit. At the end of the day, when I, as a coach, ask you to perform, I don't mean to get a result. I mean, go out there and do the stuff that we practice. That's what it is. The results should take care of itself. I saw, like, I literally saw my plate is going upwards. But, but why did that happen, though? What do you think? It was, it was like, going like this today. <laughs> You're overkilling it. I see. All right. Well, let's try to return the point control low on back on target, and then I wanted to do some like you no know, second intention with the blade. So let's hope the point control is there. All right. Uh, I guess we'll just move over a little bit. Yeah. One, two, and disengage. Disengage. Yeah. Hey, wrist elbow body. Wrist, elbow, side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Yes, step back. Yeah, that's much better. All right, soft arm, penetrate through the hits. Good. That was a little off time there, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, and then Terry just finished in line. Yeah. Okay, let's try a little bit on a Terry repost. Okay, so in this case, what's your biggest fear? Your fear is that you're going to have an athletic opponent that's not going to care for what you do. Just blah, 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 step lunge and goes right through, <laughs> right? So let's try to deal with it in a couple of ways. So first thing, what are some common ways that we can deal with somebody doing aggressive step lunge? And the first thing that we can do, you have a pistol grip. We can look to consider doing a late pair repost. So you're looking to get out and get a pair of repost when I'm fully stretched out. Okay, so... Your job is to provoke me first. <laughs> so get a little further out. Good. We're moving. Good. So make me want to attack you a little bit. What would you do? Yes. But don't stick around. If you want to start a fight, you can jump in, but quickly get out. Don't stick around waiting until you get punched. You will get punched eventually. Good. Bam. Up, step, lunge. I got you. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> what was that? The whole point here is that I'm going to do a step, lunge, step back. I'm going to fall short just by one inch. You're going to parry six and quick repost, one smooth action. So your job is when I lunge and fall short, right here, maybe an inch. Ideally, this is perfect world. I skid by your jacket as you take in the parry. Because that's my maximum commitment and your ultimate as close as you can to be safe still. That's ultimate control. Good. Up. That was way too early, right? You had a fully straight arm trying to wrestle me. So let's do one slowly. Provoke. Get out, obviously. I'm doing a step. Separate again. Now six repos. There. Right? So you on purpose... I don't know, like, it's like Grace Who type of fancy, right? Like six feet, six one, long, lean, athletic. You know, those girls coming at you, you want to stretch them out as much as you can so they give up all the leverage, and then they're not as strong. Because if you guys are 50-50 at the blaze trying to wrestle and parry, she's going to parry you off, right? She's a little stronger. The, this metaphorical opponent. 
All right, let's try it out. Up, up. So wide, so wide. Do nothing. Do nothing a little longer. Bam, get out. Still nothing, 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 nothing. Land, puff, six repas. Yes, one action. You know, just up, up, up. Yeah. Let's try it out. Good. Up. Yes. Okay, a little better. You just leaned back. Right? Did not need to lean back. Up. Good. Sit low. Yes, ma'am. That's like touching. I tried to do it, right? And then I go like that, but the trip, like, when I did that, it slid and I got a point. Like, I mean, <laughs> like, I tried to parry, and then parry, let's say I parry. Like, yeah. Coincidentally, it's like, slid and then So, those are details of like a millimeter here, a millimeter there. This is like, I'm talking about ideal situation where it works in your favor. Of course, that's the most riskiest one. So, if you're letting them within a complete one millimeter, of course. So then for the next time, okay, you, you parry a little sooner, you know, like half a nanosecond earlier, you already go for the parry, that would be okay. The key here is just not to overcommit soon, because if you if you parry me early, I could maybe fight back, I could redouble, I could disengage, right? Those are the things you want to avoid. Uh -huh. Good. Nice. Up. Why all the way down? Right here. Somewhere along the line. How about that? Okay, either the elbow, shoulder, bicep, anywhere in this line is fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. I took the blade. So now nothing changes for you. You just you don't need to even disengage, you know that? You just need to get rid of your blade and maintain distance. Once I have nothing to take, I still have to commit, and then you pull off your pair of repos. <laughs> ah, do nothing. I'm obvious, so watch. You're faking, you know I'm gonna take the blade, but you don't know where, right? As I go to take the blade, get rid of your blade, absence of blade. Show me absence of blade. Show me absence of blade. So yeah, you could be on the low side absence of blade, you could be up high absence of blade. So just put it in here, right? Get rid of your blade and make me, I'm already committed, so I have to go finish out, right? Up again, provoke. Up, get rid of the blade. Don't get hit though. <laughs> Good. Get rid of the blade. That's too far. You're about three feet away from me now. <laughs> okay, yeah, indeed. Up. You paired a little too soon, but this is closer to the truth now. Just don't bite on me swinging for the blade. Just let it go. Up. <laughs> too far, that's right. Why were you parrying already? Wait for me to finish my attack. Uh -huh. uh, up, six three pass. Much better. Again. Up. Done. Why are you so far away? Oh. Angela, pay attention to my blade. When I extend my blade, that's when you do a pair of repas. Have you seen foil belts? You know, they have the same idea. They can only actually parry, right? They need to actually touch the blade. So they wait, wait. Somebody comes at them like this, just maintain distance till somebody goes for the hit. They can't score until they actually go for the hit. When they do, that's when the parry starts the first. Uh, up, six, three, five. Good. That's better. Just now find the distance where you don't have to take a step forward. Um, bum, bum. Yeah, okay, that timing was good. You just missed the repass. Mm -hmm. Up, better, sit low, back straight. Up, okay. Uh, oh, you're you, 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 you. You okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maintain distance so those things don't happen. I go, yeah, provoke me. 
Six. Yes. Okay. Up. Why are you extending so soon? Pay attention. You cannot extend your arm till you parry me, right? Up. A little better. What happened to your absence of blade? Get rid of the tip there so I can't catch you. Up, I have nothing. Six, three, five. A little better. Okay. So that's one way somebody doing aggressive. It might work, may not, depending on how you feel. Another way to beat somebody that does a, like a big step lunge or a quick attack is not to let them get developed into a big, strong attack. That means you got to attack them on their prep. So, a little further distance. Provoke, separate. Good. Again, provoke, separate. Soon as I reach with the blade, double disengage. So, one, two, hop in. Right? So, if I was just attacking you with, like, eight, six attack, you spin corkscrew right into it before I get to develop. Uh, uh, good. So now you know I am attacking. Good. Okay, that's better. But that probably would have been more like a double. So as each bow goes, you kind of have to adjust in the timing. In that one, you provoke, separate it. You saw what I did. On the next one, pain. So it's not provoked now, right? Now we pain. As they reach, double disengage, go right away in. Your opponent will anticipate you will retreat. But this is the element of surprise, essentially. So again, I'm pressuring you. Provoke and separate, right? Hop, you see what I want. And now faint, no separation on the second one. On the second one, you faint. And then one, two, enter it. Right? This requires a little bit of guts and a little bit of skill. But mostly guts. <laughs> Uh -huh. Up, good. No, no, that's your investigation. Right? You provoke and you saw I went 8-8, eight, eight, actually. So the very next one, I want you to faint and disengage the 8-8 eight, eight and hop in. It's your attack on prep. So now set it up. Up, one, two. Good, but you got out, right? Why, Why did I catch you? Up. Who disengages you? So your investigation showed you what? I'm being a very honest opponent right now, you know, like a good camper. <laughs> you fainted, I did double eight, I tried to attack, but was unsuccessful because you got out, right? So then the very next exchange, I would like you to faint and make that double disengage premeditated and attack them with no retreats. Okay. Okay. First set up. Up. Good. And same. One, two. You only did one disengage. I thought you on the second one. Ah. Uh, good. One, two. Up. Why so tense? Do you like this? <gasps> and the point control is all over the place, right? Same. When we think, maximum is 50% of the action. That's all you got to get. You know, a lot of times you can faint just by pointing the tip, right? You knock another pop, that's it. If you have proven to your opponent that you're sharp, they will believe to those things. If you have proven to your opponent that you land flat, your faint will have to be more aggressive. So don't give me a massive faint like this. And then you have nothing to give me on the attack on prep. Oh, right here, one, two. This is your attack on prep. So, same. Okay, good. One, two, extend. That's what needs to happen, right? Now, investigate. Take a look. Good. Good job. That's it. And again. Good. Nice. Just don't tense up. That was pretty good, right? The thing that I did not like is that you ended up finishing somewhere in the middle. Come back around. 
right here. Right? So almost like in four opposition. Right on the top. Good. Perfect. Good arm control. Good. So disengages. Uh huh. Go on. I'm good. That's it. Up. A six. And yes. Up. Six, six. All right. You're a little tense on that double disengage. Not the worst, but a little tense. Okay. And lastly, very similar idea to the very first one. So we used to on the first action do what? You look to provoke, to stretch me out, and at the last second you pull up and repot. Now we're gonna do a good opportunity is if you like, okay. She's just too quick, too strong, I have no way of hitting. Anytime I try to go for the hit, she actually hits me. That requires the toughest part about choosing this tactic is you need to be mentally aware that anytime you try to make a start with or make a pair of rebounds, she actually got the hit. You have to be mentally aware of that. So what you're going to do is you're going to look to provoke and just look to get out. With the only thought, not to get hit. And as soon as I don't reach, look to attack back in my recovery. Now, when somebody lunges, you know what the last thing that leaves your distance? After the lunge, when they look to recover, what's the last thing that's killing your distance? The what? No, not, not, I guess the tip would be the last one, but the body part. The toe. The toe. And if somebody lunges, when they recover, the last thing that's still here is the toe. And that's your opportunity to pick them up. So, watch, on guard. Right, so again, provoke, separate. I do a step lunge. I should not reach you. Get out. Pump. Faint high as I parry. Go for the toe before I get rid of it. Right? Yeah, yeah. So attacking recovery to the toe. Good. One up. Faint high. Low. Just don't hesitate. Uh, pump. Two, two. If you have perfect timing, you don't even have to lunge to the toe. You just get out. Hit high, hit low, the feet don't even move. Up, good, good, up. Why am I attacking and reaching you? I should not reach you. You have one goal. I don't care if you don't get the toe, but do not get hit. <laughs> you should be pressuring with only one thing. When she starts attacking, abandon everything, get out, do not get hit. War of attrition almost. Up, uh, yes, yes, of course, just for fun, a little check down. Up, uh, good, uh -huh. but now pay attention. So you fainted, and I took a big six, right? So if you faint, go on the other side, there's your toe. Up, uh, fake, hit, ah, try not to miss. The idea is there. You're much quicker off of it now. Yes, touch. Wow, good job. Ah, got caught. Be patient enough. Up, fake high, hit low, touch. Yes. Ah, you rushed. Why are you rushing? Focus. Finish on a good note. Let's go. Yeah. Up a palm. High. Low. Push. Very good. Up. Boy, oh, you're not prepared. Yeah. Big high. Big day to me. Good. And just don't drop the whole body. Control your body. Yeah. Salut. Well, good job. My headphones are falling down. <laughs> so, somebody is aggressive with you, three ways, 
either stretch them out just a little bit more so you can get some leverage to parry, or don't let them stretch at all. You punch them right in the beginning, or you stretch them out complete like elastic band tool essentially snaps, right? They get, they miss, like when Judy, when she does a long lunge, and she falls flat on her butt. That's what you want to consider doing to people. Yeah.